Hello everyone, in this short video I'm going to show you how you can apply sentiment analysis on your data that is located into the OneDrive, apply sentiment analysis using AI Builder in uh, Power Automate and then uh, reply back and store the data back to the OneDrive. So we are going to see a end-to-end uh, -end, uh, process that you have a full you have a file coming from a customer or from anybody you can actually uh, analyze it to see that how much your customer is happy or unhappy about your product so we are going to see one of the feature of the ai builder so uh, if you see uh, actually if you look at the ai builder under the build i'm just going out of that you will see that uh, one of the component that we have here is uh, sentiment analysis that actually we can do that so we have sentiment analysis we have language detection and key phrase extraction so the same so uh, the process that i'm showing to you is the same also for language detection and keyword extraction uh, the only difference will be have the output that you may analyze it with power bi or other tools so let's check it out and see that how we can actually create this a power automate that is really easy to use and how we can uh, actually use it in a real world scenario so first of all, I'm going, because I'm using the AI builder and the AI builder here using the common data services. So same as the other AI builder solution, if I want to use it in Power Automate, I need to go to the solution. Under the solution, I need to create a new solution that I've already created. I call it AI course, and I'm going to add a new flow here. So I'm going to add a new flow. The flow that I'm going to use is actually, um, I put a name for that, call it sentiment analysis. And I'm going that uh, this uh, flow should be automated, should be triggered whenever I create a new file, is a new text file inside the, uh, actually my OneDrive for business. So I search for OneDrive for business here. And that's a trigger. So when a file is created, so the second one is the one, uh, if you're using for the first time, you need to log in to your account. Otherwise, it should be okay. So if you click on this uh, actually folder sign here, as you see here, show picker, is going to navigate you through your OneDrive. I'm going to the uh, a folder that I call it AI folder, is that one. So this is my trigger. Now I'm going to actually to call the one that I am using for the predict, uh, for the sentiment analysis. Uh, so there is a component named predict under the CDS that you can use it. So this is one. And here you can see your model. So beside the model that I myself created, there are some models like uh, key phrase extraction, uh, language detection model, and sentiment analysis. So this is the one that I'm going to use. So here I need to write some code here. So first of all, I should mention that the input that I'm passing is actually a, a, a text. And I put the text here. In the next one, I need to mention the language. So language, just make sure there shouldn't be any typo that in my scenario is English. So uh, for different scenarios can be different. So here we should mention which uh, we are going to put here. So I'm going to put the file contents. I just save it. So it should be okay now. And this is the one you can test it to see that this is okay or not. You can check the flow checker, which is no error, which is really good. Uh, we can go to the next step so after we actually upload the file into the onedrive and uh, apply the sentiment analysis we want to uh, write back to the onedrive so i write so onedrive for business again uh, just the one and again uh, this is the uh, actually one and i'm going to create a file over there. So the file that I'm going to use, I'm going to put in the same folder. I'm going to the root and to the AI folder. And I need to put a name. Uh, you can create a name for that. I'm using the function 
concat that to create a name for that. So the concat is actually get the current time UTC now that is the current time. Uh, plus, so you can actually provide the specific type of your file. So the result that I'm getting is a JSON. So I need to create a file that the type is JSON. So that JSON. That's done. And just put here and okay. So this is a concatenation that I have. And the results coming from the response one. So this is the one that I have. Now I save it and I'm going to put a text file over there to see that how this flow work. So this is my OneDrive. I'm going to upload a file that is on my uh, download page. That's a hotel comment. So I'm going to add that one. So as you see here, <clears throat> this, the, <clears throat> there is a sentence coming from my customer. That is saying that the suite was awesome. We did not have much interaction. So I am going to upload that one. So I just upload that one and I'm back to the flow. So I'm going to run the flow because the first time myself and it's asked me to put some file into the OneDrive. So we just wait till it's actually done the process. So it's actually finished here. And you see the new file has been created. Here is a JSON file. So you can check that one and you will see the run has been no error, which is great. So let's check out what we get here. So I'm going to download and I'm going to open it in the uh, notepad. So as you can see here is actually the um, prediction result. It has the uh, if I just focus, so you see that um, there are different ones and you can see the negatives. I'm going to open this file with Power BI. So I'm going to open my Power BI desktop here. So I'm going to uh, actually edit query. And under the edit query, I'm going to get a new source. The new source is a JSON file. So click on new source more. And here I'm going to choose the json file so the file is here actually so i'm going to open it so that's the one that i have uh, that's actually the one the records that we have and you see that it has two different so one of them is a record is the overall sentiment here that you see the uh, the, in general, it was positive, uh, the neutral of the whole takes while that and the negative. So in a general, it is positive. So I'm going to uh, save this one at, as a new one and I call it as overall score. And I'm going to convert it to the Table. So this is the overall score. I can actually uh, transpose it to have a better one. So this is positive, negative, and also I can go and say use the first row. So this is a one for the general, but this is not the only one. We have the, uh, actually, we have the records for the each one. So I can actually add this one again as, uh, as a new query. So I said sentence by sentence, again, to the table. There's uh, no separator. And I'm going to expand the one. So I'm going to expand it. Uh, I see another one. I'm going to expand that one. And to see that what we have here, actually. So everything. So just that one. So you see that actually we have uh, the sentiment. Uh, we have positive, neutral, network. And what is the start of the each sentence so for the each sentence for example the first sentence was positive the second one neutral so for the each sentence you can have if you want to see at the same time together you can just do some uh, combination of the uh, actually the uh, combination of the uh, power query skills so i'm going to bring the hotel comments here as a text file and i'm going to set that's the dot between them so it's sentence and these are my actually sentence that I have here and I'm going to kind of uh, do some transportation. 
going to click on transpose them. So these are the sentences that I have. I'm going to add the index column from one. And also because I know that this based on the order, do the same for this one. And I'm able to actually to uh, combine them together based on that. So I'm going to the home, to the merge, merge queries with hotel comment based on their index. So it's actually I can see the everything. So I just need the column name and these are. So for this sentence, the same that uh, I can bring it a bit here. So for this one, you can see it is positive. Uh, the suite was awesome. We didn't much interaction with the staff. It's a neutral one. So for the each sentence, you're able to see one of them and then try and uh, actually do whatever you want. Also, you can see the offset of the each sentence. So from uh, start of the sentence to the to the dot that we have for the each sentence, you can see there. So you see that how is actually easy and how you're able to analyze the data. And this can be multiple documents. So you can bring multiple documents here and analyze them. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, you see that how the flow was really easy to use. So the flow that we have was really uh, easy to use and how we can actually use that later on uh, for other. I really recommend to actually to look at the other ones, uh, the uh, not just the sentiment analysis, we have keyword extraction and language detection. They are also really good. You can use them and see that how they work. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed.